Sue. It's me. Call me back. I fucked up bad. We gotta get out of the city. Disappear. Just meet us down the Schwang Sea as soon as you can. I love you. Bye. Beer. Beer brand beer. Beer brand beer. By Beer Co. Wife beaters and beer. And face palming. Oh shit! What? What the fuck? Well, hello there. Uh, welcome back to Canaan Lynch 2 Dog Days. I'm still Negaroth, and that's still Fataku. Well, um, I'm, I'm here in spirit. He is here as a ghost. Um, because I ended up having to play this level by myself due to a bit of an injury that uh, Fataku has sustained. I was uh, masturbating furiously, and, uh, well, you know, one thing led to another. Yeah, he, uh, he was trying to figure out that riddle about the sound of one hand clapping, and he figured out the hard way that uh, it's probably about abstinence or something. But yeah, this uh, we've already gotten in hot and heavy already in this level. Uh, getting attacked by a new type of enemy here. The I think these guys are supposed to be SWAT team members. And uh, they actually come with body armor, so they do take quite a few more shots than your normal policeman. But uh, thankfully they also come with a bit, of, oh, quite a bit of better weapon, which is uh, this machine gun. I'm not sure what type it is offhand, but uh, what are you doing? it's uh, silenced for no particular reason. but And it does a shit ton of damage, and it's incredibly accurate. Which is, uh, it's both a positive and a negative, because you will just as easily get murdered by the enemy as you'll murder them. So, um, I'm, uh, I was asking, uh, myself while I'm watching this, if Kane is, uh, when he, when the AI is controlling him, if he gears up at all? Like, I don't, I don't really see him... Well, actually, um, just a second ago, he made, he made mention of... You know, we need to stock up, and I, I think that's when he actually did pick up one of the machine guns from the SWAT team. Members. So it's like a scripted weapon upgrade kind of thing? Yeah, I think so. And uh, this restaurant actually is a pretty good example of the uh, destructible environments. Yeah. Yeah. You'll notice quite a bit of the wood paneling giving way and just being blown away. And uh, that basically makes getting cover kind of difficult. How did the cops find us? Just let him in, him enjoy uh, his cigarette going into Flavor Country. He's been through a lot, all right? He needs to relax. Yeah, a little uh, surprise there. Jesus Christ. Tied up. What kind of police are they? Not my concern. Let's go. You know, I was, I was mildly thinking of shooting them, but I figured I wouldn't be a dick. I mean, that one guy was probably going to suffocate to death. He had a, he had a bag on his head. We need to get to yeah, you life. know, I think that uh, considering they just cut down the entire, like, Chinese restaurant there, and then you go up, and then the guys in the kitchen are tied up, you're like, what kind of cops are these? They're terrible. It's like, well, they could have just killed all those guys, I suppose. It's better than just straight up murdering them. Yeah, I mean, maybe the Chinese police code is a tad bit different. Maybe all those guys were drug smugglers. They were actually under arrest. Yeah, I just noticed that there was clothes hanging up, like in the way far back in the corner above that stairwell, and I have no idea how you're supposed to get to those. Uh, magic stick. Like a stick with a hook, or like a... Magic hook stick? Yeah, some switching around of the words. But you might have noticed a, a small little edit back there. I actually, uh... When I initially did this little area, I uh, kind of approached it the wrong way. I kind of went up top, and it just didn't leave for a good vantage point, and I just ended up getting sniped to death. He's lying. He's lying. This is all live, guys. This is live. It, no editing. It is. That's why I was doing that, like, back and forth. 
But yeah, now we're uh, now we're back to just facing normal policemen for no explicable reason. I think that's mostly so we can go back to having yeah, the, yeah, the yeah, shittier yeah, police going. weapons. And uh, my mine cruiser. Mine cruiser. Boosh. I wonder why they're hoarding uh, scooters. Uh, it might be like a scooter rental place. So I decided to let him live. Except I don't think Kane wanted to let him live. I think he's actually shooting at him from behind me, which is a bit weird. At least the AI knows how I would play if I were playing. No survivors. Okay. Yeah. We're going to be on a crowded street. We've got to have a retreat. Cool. No surrender. Yeah, yeah, asshole. So, yeah, we're going to blend in on a crowded street. Two white guys with automatic weapons. Maybe that maybe that's normal for this street. I mean, no one's really noticing yet. And uh, yeah, there's just some rather uh, random, interesting stores around here. Probably a collection of restaurants. I think maybe uh, I think that one place was like a cell phone store. It's kind of hard to tell. I'm sure somebody in the thread will help me there. Yeah, that's one thing I did like about this game. They did put a lot of detail into the storefronts. Yeah, and. I guess to some degree it would be kind of overkill to be able to go into more of them. But we 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 will get to see more store interiors later on. Not in this stage, but later stages, I should say. But yeah, um, this area can be kind of difficult just because the, uh, the police on the street are pretty accurate and they're just really difficult to see. Kane, like, uh, Kane's AI ended up taking the, uh, the good spots, I should say, for cover, and I was left with not being able to see shit. Stop screwing around. Let's go. Not well, that the game really helps me that much. Maybe it figures you can, you know, fend for yourself. On your left. I can't really fend off against all this fucking bloom, though. In the MP4 store. Or you can get your your copies at uh, Ditlev or the Cleaners. Or Emborg. Emborg starring Betty Angel. The M who was a Borg. Actually, that was a big ass explosion. He was saying, watch out for the propane tanks. I'm like, fuck those propane tanks. Yeah, I think the first time we played through here, like, I think as. Kane was saying, watch out for the propane tanks, and I was playing as Kane. I was shooting the propane tanks. So. Yeah, I mean, if you're just kind of blind firing over there hoping to hit a policeman or something, you just. You'll inevitably hit a propane tank. And that guy was just fucking chilling across the street. I think he realized, like, oh, wait, there's a gunfight. I'll just probably sit down here on the sidewalk. I don't want people to think I'm gonna. I'm gonna, like, you know. Be a nerd, so I'm gonna play it cool. Walking okay. through the uh, be an alley. the lead okay. salad, ripping through the air. Yeah. Speaking of cool, I mean, I really can't get over like the the change in the outfit they gave to to uh, Lynch here. What? He he looks like a hillbilly, like just straight up trailer trash, just. Long mulletish hair with a big bald spot and just a dirty wife beater. He's just. I I have no doubts if this game was in smell vision, it would smell awful. Like somehow he would actually overpower the smell of Shanghai. Smell like blood, sweat, and tears. No. It smells like. I don't even remember what the fucking name of this level was, but helicopter. Shaky cam helicopter. I was trying to look for it. I was like, where the fuck is it? Maybe it'll open fire? Who knows? I noticed there's neon on everything in China. Yeah, I mean, even the rubble. Neon. So yeah, we've, uh, we've now got a return of these rather well-armored and well-armed uh, sniper or SWAT members. And lots of them. 
Yeah, it's uh, it's honestly a bad idea to try to push forward here. Because if you try to flank to either side, there's going to be a SWAT guy waiting for you over there, and then another SWAT guy with a better angle shooting you from the other side. Right, and you get cross-fired pretty much. Yeah, so it's better just to hang back and try to take a few random pot shots with the, with the police weapons. Even though the AI decided to be balls out and just start pushing forward. Well, the AI knows that his other AI homies are going to take it easy on him. Yeah. Actually, I don't think the AI ever can actually die, so... I was actually wondering, like, why you weren't pushing forward a little bit here to grab one of the super rifles. Uh, that, that'll be evident in just a second here. After I finish getting a few random shots at this guy. I think Kane ends up, like, actually killing him here. There he goes. Sounds like something happened to Kane. Did you hear that? He was like, ah, my toe. But yeah, so this is why you don't actually want to push forward. Uh, it spawns about four or five SWAT guys, including a, a sniper guy. A sniper guy, I don't feel is very dangerous. I mean, he can kill you in about one or two shots, but thankfully, if, uh, if you're helping AI or M. Normally, in my case, uh, Fataku, the, the decoy, was to get his attention, it really wouldn't be that much of an issue. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Never human shield them, because at point blank, they will just completely one-shot you. But, yeah, they're not they're not too much of a danger. Up here! We're really close, Kane. Their building is just past the next construction site. Coming. Right there. That's our apartment. Well, at least she lives in the nice part of town. Yeah, <laughs> the the nice high rise, uh, medium rubble district. The, you don't it's even, it's you a rubble know. aesthetic. It's not it's not, you know, like plight of the downtrodden. It's just like the, a M design this choice. Is more, this is more of like a condo shanty town. <laughs> I mean, th those pipes don't come cheap. And yeah, just to just to show how heavily armored these uh, SWAT guys are, that that guy just took like two sniper shots to the chest. And now he's just rolling around on the ground. Yeah, I I, I think I shot him with a like a BB gun in his world. But th I mean, thankfully the game was nice enough to to actually like mark all of the uh, the snipers in this area, because I guess otherwise it would have been difficult. I could I could imagine in the playtesting phase of this game there's probably a lot of moments where you're like, I have no idea what killed me. Yeah. Well, I mean, initially I, I think they actually would have wanted you to do this area stealth and like actually navigate through this shanty town without, you know, really giving your presence off. I've never been able to do that. Just because I don't really know what the cone of vision is for most of these guys. That's part of the problem is that the, the stealth system and really just kind of the movement in general in this game lacks any kind of finesse that you'd need to be stealthy. And it's too hard to tell. There's not enough feedback from the game to let you know how stealthy you're being. Like, is just being crouched stealthy? How far can they see, you know? Yeah, can can I wiggle across the ground like a sneak? Who knows? Why can't we steal these guys' body armor and wear it? I don't know. Because we don't need it. Because we're bullet sponges. Yeah. Big old fatty bullet sponges. Yeah, I, I've i never been a big fan of this new mechanic in shooters where if you just, like, chill behind cover for a few seconds, all those bullets that just rip through your torso, you'll be fine. Well, it's, it's to equal out with uh, the innate difficulty increase of the games. I mean, actually, if you if you weren't expecting this little shanty town fight right here, just a lot of these guys would easily, easily take you by surprise and just pretty much instantly kill you. Yeah, you just make it look so easy. Let's pro. <laughs> and actually, this next area is another shiny example of you know don't go down, don't go straight down the middle. Whoa, actually, going there. down this like little left hand path here. The AI is just completely ill-positioned to, like, you know, take, you know, fight back. 
It seems like, yeah, in some uh, shootouts, the enemies set up in almost a predetermined pattern. They don't react dynamically to where you decide to stand. Yeah. So, I mean, if you would have gone straight down the middle there, it would have been a lot more heavy cover and just a lot more of a tougher fight. But actually, uh, we're actually at the end of this level. We're just going to have to get through this fence over here, get to Sue's apartment. So join us next time for the next stage. we got to climb over.